Welcome back. Forget the flashy special effects of today. The owners of a theater in Logan want to take you back to the era of silent film. As Northern Utah specialist Mike Anderson reports, they're starting by restoring this massive organ that used to provide all the sound effects, the mighty Wurlitzer. It's not the type of movie theme music we've grown used to. There are very few of them left. It doesn't come from a bellowing orchestra, just a 15 horsepower blower and a one-man band. There are strings, flutes, clarinets, and all the percussions you'd find. And that's just the start of it. Mike Oman and his wife donated many of the instruments that make up this restored mighty Wurlitzer. As well as bells, sirens, whistles, uh, boat sounds, anything that might be on the screen. The organ donated from a couple in California. Wurlitzer, in its heyday, built about 2,000 instruments, but there are maybe 200 left. They were a staple for theaters that showed silent films in the early 20th century. Sweet little lady is tied at the railroad tracks. <laughs> Omen says all of this being brought back to life in hopes that today's generations will gain a new appreciation. It's a new genre to the to the students of today, to so to witness a silent film or to become acquainted with them again is, is a real treat. But it's not an easy process. Many of the parts acquired from around the country. This is a flute tone. And like I said, there's no moving parts. And it's getting some modern upgrades, like wireless controls that go from the organ to this packed chamber. Each of the components has to be refined, tuned, and carefully put in place. We try to find vintage materials to put in them. But after weeks of work... One at a time, it starts coming around and then it sounds pretty darn good. This 1924 organ is just beginning to sound like new again. A magical moment to hear one of these uh, begin to breathe and sound like it has a life. All in hopes that some of us will take a step back and enjoy the silence. It's not old, it's new again. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.